Hey, I'm going to show you a live birth uh, that we did this this spring, and I'm going to I talk as the video goes along and share with you kind of my experience, why I'm doing, making decisions I'm making, how I'm doing it, and um, and I hope you find it helpful. The most important course that you get out of all the courses that we have um, is the birthing course, and so. Um, learn from this one but remember we have a whole course with positionings how to pull babies how to uh, when to pull babies when to call a vet how to prep them how to how to prep them in terms of dietarily how to take care of them after the early stages of the baby all that stuff so critical to know the most in critical course that you get from me is the birthing course so I hope you enjoy this live birth it's a beautiful thing it's so neat to help goats have babies but you need to know what you're doing because the vet will not show up at two o'clock in the morning to help you out and you need to know what you're doing. So I hope you find this video helpful. <laughs> So, are you filming? Yeah. So I pop the bubble so I can see. Okay. So when they when they stand up like this, a lot of times they're trying to reposition. That baby will pull back now, and a lot of times what ends up happening at this point is she'll she'll kind of take a break for a second. Almost always they push hard when they lay down. You didn't. That's not a baby. That's not a baby. We're gonna get that out of here so you don't have to worry about it. So, what she'll do at this point, I need one towel out yep, of the milk barn, thank you. <laughs> so what we'll do, I'll try to keep her out of this stuff because this will just distract her from the job. Okay, sweetie. And I like to be able to pop the bubble and the reason I pop the bubble is, is it gives me the ability to see the position um, that the baby's coming before he gets too far out. So if I can attain, I can, I can see, you know, what you're looking for is this. So we're looking for nose and toes and, um, and proper positioning. So they're gonna actually, when they're properly positioned, toes are down, nose is forward. And I can only see one hoof at this point. I thought she would maybe keep pushing. Go on. When, when does get distracted on this kind of stuff, I'll try to push them to another spot so that they can get back to the business. A lot of times when they're actually in the process of laboring. Okay, so, all right. So she's gonna push standing up. Go this way so I can see. <laughs> So I still see one hoof out right now. Yeah, there we go. So we got one hoof and it's presenting the right direction. So we're gonna have to see what else is with it. Oh, it's stinky. You saw that kitty, didn't you? You saw that kitty. That is gonna distract you. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna push standing. Go this way. Go this way so I can see. Feels like a big hoof. I'm gonna give it a little bit of pressure just to keep it. Okay, so there's, there's still two hooves. I'm not seeing any. So I want to see a nose pretty soon because if I don't, sometimes they can have a head back. Okay. Keep going, honey. I wonder if she's going to lay down. Let's see if I can feel a head in there. I can. So she's presenting right. We're just going to let her do her thing. So 
<clears throat> I just felt over the top of the hoof just in there a little ways. And I felt almost positive because the, the other hoof, the other hoof is down. Oh, no, that's just fine. I can feel the other head. Good girl, it's a big baby. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I can see this. Good girl. Good girl. just moved out. safe mouth is clear I just want her to kind of keep working you're doing good honey keep pushing honey good girl good girl oh, yeah. that's a good girl beautiful oh good girl you did so good this is yours good girl Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we do this to clear the lungs and the throat. You can hear kind of gurglies. Yeah, hi. Welcome. Yeah, like why are you shaking me? Hi, little buglet. Beautiful. Yeah, welcome. How are you? Yeah, you look good. Yeah. It's a big baby. Good girl. You did so good. Yeah, here you go. Don't lick that. Lick this. Lick the baby. <laughs> Good girl, that was such a struggle. It's a big boy. It's got to be a boy. Yep. Yeah, they just aren't born that big when they're girls. 
That's a big boy. Yeah. That might be a daddy keeper right there. Yeah. Cough it out. All right. You did good, sweetie. All right, you left goo everywhere. Let me get some goo out of here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>